Ohio, London, how we've missed you. It's been a long time since we've been back here. If you guys are new to the channel, we actually spent a month living here in London in January of 2022. And when we were here, we were in the east side of London in the Whitechapel neighborhood. Right now we're in Shoreditch, which is just right next to Whitechapel. Since we're only back in London for one day, instead of going back to Elizabeth Tower and the Buckingham Palace, all of the tourist attractions, we wanted to come right back here to East London, where we spent the most time just hanging out, spending time with each other. We really love this neighborhood. And also, our favorite market in all of London is located just down the road in Spitalfields. Let's head there first. asked me what I wanted to do today and my first thought was right there at Old Spitalfields and I'm going to show you why. London is very well known for its markets, whether it's food markets, open air markets, market halls, vintage markets, flea markets, they have them all. Now if you're looking for the most popular markets in London, you're probably looking for Borough Market or Camden Market. We've been to both, they're fantastic, definitely recommend going there. However, if we had to pick a favorite, it would be right here at Old Spitalfields Market on Commercial Road in the Spitalfields neighborhood. It's just west of Whitechapel, just south of Shoreditch. This market has everything, everything from clothes to sunglasses to books to food to coffee, everything you need in a market. We're just trying to find a place to eat our dumplings. Spitalfields Market is so busy during the lunch hour and the dumpling shack is open till five, but they are notorious for selling out. These are called soup dumplings. They're Chinese soup dumplings. It's my absolute favorite thing to have in Spitalfields Market. I will warn you though, make sure you have some napkins, some wipes, be prepared because there's a reason they're called soup dumplings. They've got some sort of meat, probably pork and surrounded by broth. You'll want to bite it, soak up all of the broth inside, and then continue to eat your dumpling. Otherwise, if you just take a big bite, it's gonna go all down your shirt. So, you've been warned. Mm. Such a good salty broth and a nice crispy bottom on the dumpling. Perfectly juicy meat inside. It's amazing. Now Sydney is not alone when it comes to these dumplings being her favorite. These things are notoriously popular within the Spitalfields Market at the Dumpling Shack. This place has only been open for about 10 years, but they are easily one of the most popular shops in there. So if you want to get your dumplings, you got to get them fast. <gasps> I tried everything I could to not do that, but there you go. That's You've why, been warned. That's why they call them soup dumplings. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I'm in shock or if I'm in denial, but I am totally okay with the fact that I'm gonna walk around looking like this for the rest of the day because we got our dumplings. It's one of our favorite things. However, if you are looking to avoid the broth explosion problem altogether, the spicy Don Don noodles are also fantastic. They have this chili oil that they make in-house and that is one of my favorite things as well at the Dumpling Shack. It's a bit too early for us to have Britain's national drink, pints, but we're on our way to get another popular beverage. A flat white. If you order a coffee in London, chances are a flat white will be one of the most popular things you hear people ordering. And it's basically a double shot of espresso with micro foam milk, basically just like a little latte. So as we turned the corner and we started walking up the street, we saw the commercial tavern up there. That is a very great place to be, as the Brits say, on the weekend. You can get into all sorts of trouble up there, as we did when we were here.
If you're hoping to find Brick Lane, all you have to do is find Whitechapel and Spitalfields. This lane pretty much chops them right in half. This was the old factory district, so a lot of cool old buildings and all of the graffiti you could ever want. And these shops are just so cool. Also great for people watching. A lot of variety, a lot of diversity, a lot of cool people here. Another fantastic feature of Brick Lane when you make it further down the road, lots of good South Asian cuisine. Indian, Thai, Bangladeshi, great to find a curry or a vindaloo. The one thing though, make sure you know where you want to go because if you look like you're kind of looking around not sure, these restaurant attendants will come for you. They'll chase you down the street trying to get you in the restaurant. So always good to have a look before to make sure you, you know where you're going. So as soon as we made our decision to come to East London today, Sydney said she wanted her dumplings at the Dumpling Shack. My one request was to come to this pub, The King's Stores. It's my absolute favorite pub in East London. It's right at the end of this narrow cobblestone street known as Artillery Lane, and it's right towards the Liverpool Street Station. So if you're heading from Spitalfields Market or anywhere we were today over to the Liverpool Street Station to get back to anywhere else in the city, you might as well pop into The King's Stores. They've got great pub snacks, great beer on tap. My personal favorite thing to get is the Scotch Egg. This is the first scotch egg I got here in the UK, and I'm about to get another one. Absolutely love that spot. They have a very wide open first floor. They also have a second floor with a little more dining room ambiance. They also have my two favorite English beers on tap, Camden Hells and Neck Oil from Beavertown. We have made our way back over to Shoreditch. This is one of our favorite areas. We're just off of Shoreditch High Street. And the great thing about Shoreditch High Street, you'll never go hungry, you'll never go thirsty. Plenty of really fun bars, plenty of great restaurants. And even better, we just realized it's almost five o'clock here in London, which means happy hour. So our bill at Burger and Beyond ended up being 26 pounds, which comes out to around 31 or 32 dollars US. That's a high quality burger, and for those prices, really pretty much unbeatable in London. So definitely check out their happy hour Monday through Thursday, 5 to 7 p.m. So Islington is definitely the most residential place we've been to and it's so peaceful, so quiet. And even though it's not that far from everything, you just feel like you're a little removed from the craziness of the city. Islington is located in the borough of Hackney, which is north of the central city, but it's actually not too far to get into the central city itself. It's about 25 minutes by bus. If you are near a train stop, they're not as plentiful out here, but if you are near a train stop, it could be less than 15 minutes. Not too bad at all. 
Although East London may not have the elegant architecture and all of the tourist attractions that you may see in Central and West London, it's still become one of our favorite places to hang out, especially on a Saturday afternoon, get some drinks, get some food. But we're curious, if you live in East London or if you have visited before, what's your favorite restaurant or bar to hang out? Be sure to drop that in the comment section below. Also, if you have not subscribed to our newsletter yet, make sure you do that. Absolutely no reason not to check it out. It's completely free. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.